I'm going to show you how to build a framework using keyword tests in Test Complete. Tiny bit of code, but 99% keyword test drag and drop. We're going to go through a quick overview of what the finished product looks like and describe the architecture. Then in the next video, we'll start with a blank sheet and build this from scratch together. Now it's broken down into these main areas. Utilities, which contain scripts for things like starting browsers. Components that represent objects in our application that we need to interact with. Pages that represent the pages of the application that we'll be interacting with too. And these pages are made up of components actually. For example, you might have a table or a menu that is embedded or implemented on a page. And then we have the tests. And the tests we break down into folders which represent the features and keyword tests that we build to test each aspect of the application for a piece of feature or functionality. Then it's just a question of implementing the functions that we've implemented on the components or at the page level and we pull those into our tests to interact with the application, run the tests and then build out a few checkpoints to confirm that the tests pass or fail. So in this framework it's all about abstraction and that means not repeating ourselves, putting the right things in the right places. So we implement aspects of functionality in our tests that represent functionality in the application and we only implement that once and then we may use it multiple times in specific tests that we write to test that feature or area of functionality. We're going to build this against the test complete demo application called Web Orders and this web app is available online at this URL which will provide in our PDF step-by-step -step document that you can download using the link below. It's a simple app but it's good for learning the concepts and the approach that you need to learn to build a framework. Now when I talk about concepts I'm talking about these three concepts reusability, maintainability and readability. More on these as we go through and build this framework but first you have to understand this basic model where we have components that are common across pages, then we have the pages which are built up of these components and other bits and bobs and a page represented by a folder in this setup and the folder contains dedicated scripts for interacting with the page. Now those pages will contain scripts that carry out actions on the page and will reference the scripts built for the components. So many pages may use the same component and the advantage of this approach is we only need to write the code for interacting with a component once. Next we have the tests and our tests we break down into the folders that represent the features, scenario for the keyword test and then the step definitions which is really the test items or test steps in the keyword test. And yep that's very similar to an approach called BDD and you may have heard of and whilst we'll save that discussion for another day stick with me because this whole framework we can build out to support BDD in the long term. Now coming back to those three points reusability, maintainability and readability and this is why this approach is so good. In our tests we're reusing functions from each page so when we look at a particular test we have keyword tests that call functions that are implemented on the page and we only need implement functions on the page once for example the login functionality and we can reuse that piece of functionality saves any duplication of code and then those pieces of functionality on the pages are implemented by components that we create functions for keyword functions that might for example be a main menu navigation piece of functionality and you'll notice here that we have everything in logical places the components the pages the tests which makes life a lot easier when it comes to maintainability 
And finally, readability. Everything is neatly organized. Everything's in its own place. No disastrously disorganized mess that won't scale and can't be maintained. There's one caveat though. There's only so far a keyword test can take you. Ultimately, if you're looking to scale and grow, you'll want to be coding. You'll want to be working with a JavaScript or a Python framework. And honestly, in the long run, it's much easier with code. But once you've learned these concepts and this approach, which is based around the page object model that you may have heard of, but once you've learned this approach, it's easy to take the next step up into building frameworks with code. A little bit of JavaScript or a little bit of Python, and you'll be running with a similar sort of framework that's far more scalable, far quicker to write tests with. But for now though, before we can run, let's walk by learning the fundamentals, and in the next video, we'll build this keyword framework from scratch together. Now, if you want the step-by-step -step document, request a copy of that PDF document that we've written that walks you through this whole process. In the next video then, we start with a blank sheet and we build this from the ground up.